Popularly known as Willie Chemps, William Lamptey is a versatile actor who has played major stage and screen roles. I don't think you're a player, I know you're a player. Oh, okay, 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 Ariana, look, I accept everything, I know I'm a player, I, I accept everything you want to tag me with, but, Ariana, I want to change for you. Hey, hey, hey. hey oh, come on, come on, come on. His acting style combines his youthful experience and versatility to help him deliver exciting, memorable performances which leave the audience amazed. Hey guys, my name is William Odate Lamte, aka Willie Chambers, aka The Greatest Showman. So I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here to answer your 50 questions. So. This is 50 Questions on the Paved Network, a show where your favorite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Paved Studios for the guest of the day. First question. I need the title of the song played in Yolo Season 5, Episode 6 at the airport after they picked up Cyril. The music played in the G-Wagon. They don't. <laughs> I think maybe you should DM the Yolo TV series on Instagram and ask them for the title. When will Yolo Season 6 be out? I have no idea. Uh, what be your guy in name? The one who they repeat after you in Yolo. Oh, you mean Farasi, my best friend in YOLO. Yeah, his name is Farasi, but his real name is Michael Copson. How far with school? Charlie, we did inside, though. <laughs> That's good, yeah. We did do well. Slow but sure, we go finish. Inshallah. Zamzai. <laughs> did you ever think you were going to get far? And what is your source of inspiration? Well, thinking of getting far, no, I didn't. Uh, I think I was just going by the flow, and trust me, it's been very interesting. Yeah, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the mystery. So I'm going. Uh, my source of inspiration, I think, uh, myself, my talent, and everything inspires me. Everyone inspires me. Right. How has your acting career been so far? Great. So far, so good. I'm enjoying everything, at least when you see me in town, you can say Zanzain, Zanzain, I respond. <laughs> Zanzain. Um, what is the name of your immediate ex? Immediate ex. Ex. Ex president. Oh, I think that's John Dramani Mahama, right? Um, which high school and course did you offer? High school. The best school in Greater Accra. Nungwa Senior High School, Abladi, Wone, we life. <laughs> I offered business. Um, does YOLO pay you? Yes, it does. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what motivates you? Myself, my talent, and every creative out there. My parents also motivate me. All right. What do you want to achieve in the next five years? This question, eh? this question so like i said you know i didn't expect to see myself anywhere so i'm still going by the flow so as we go in this jolly ride i mean i'm ready for the mystery so let it unfold so yeah in the next five years i see myself doing excellent that's right what inspired you to be an actor so in senior high school i was given a chance to play a role I mean, a drama club. So since it was well and people responded well, I think that was what inspired me to keep up doing it. And later on, I just started doing it professionally. And then, please, what motivates you? So like I said already, myself, my talent, and every creative out there, and my parents. Please describe your acting style. Okay, so my acting style is emotion-oriented, and I, inhabit the character fully. Basically, I think my acting style is a method style, right? So how many girls you chop? Come on, I'm a student and an actor, not a butcher. I don't chop girls. Even, I mean, which butcher will chop girls? No butcher will chop humans. All right, how can I also be featured in YOLO? I think through auditions. So keep up with your social media pages and I think maybe when there's a call for actors, you can go for it. For real, are you interested in Ariana? Oh, well, I think Senior Flex is really interested in Ariana. He's, he's proving that, so 
But with me, William, uh, Ariana be my tight buddy, you know, Zong <laughs> uh, Moving on. When are you going to give a surprise visit to your fans? I think very soon, very soon. Maybe you should DM me your locations and stuff once in a while and then I'll try and pass through. Um, your favorite movie of all time, both locally and internationally. Okay, so my local favorite movie is I Told You So. It's an old film. Yeah, and internationally, I think Titanic. Yeah, Titanic. How did you get into the movie industry? By acting, so I think through auditions. That's the answer. Uh, why you make fresh like that? Oh, Charlie, senior, thank you. So I have one, oh, <laughs> if you go, if you go, I go do. <laughs> Zom -zom. What's your level of education? I'm in the university now. What was your senior high school life like? And which of your school children gave you the most problems? Oh, my senior high school life was really interesting, you know? Like the end time, that where they start on start from. Me as I did senior high school, the end time where they, the acting, you go stage like this, and then they give you fans and things. You go for competitions, and I mean, if you're doing good, you know how people will be commending you and all that. Yeah, so it was interesting. I got reasons to go to school, to get up to go to school all the time because I knew that Charlie, as I did go if I pass it, somebody go point me. That's what I'm saying. And then my. Um, school, my, my school, which of my school children gave me the most problems? I think one for the let. Hey, <laughs> for the let was really was really stressed. Yeah. Okay. Um, between UGLC one five zero and PSYC one zero two, which one would you go for and why? Okay, so let me explain this. So UGLC one five zero is actually. The full, the full meaning is University of Ghana required course. So 150 meaning is critical thinking. That's the code for critical thinking. And PSYC 102 is psychology. Charlie, I will go for psychology. Yeah, critical thinking, you know, is, is a non-scoring course. So, I mean, definitely I'll go for psychology. Even though both courses are really, really stressful. I will go for psychology. It may be more, but how you go do? <laughs> um, how are you managing your schoolwork and career? So, <laughs> this day, this question, I mean, so basically, I'm schooling and I'm making time for my career. So my basic aim right now is to just complete school with good grades and then continue with my career. But how I'm managing them, how I'm able to switch between, I mean, is, I think it's just about time management and scheduling, that's right. How far do you want to take acting? Oh, acting. Well, as far as I am alive, I think I want to take acting to wherever it wants to go. If you say go, go, you'll be down, go. go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so if you are offered a big time role in a production, a role that is paying you worth billions, and you are to shoot for six months, and you are in your final year in school, would you quit school for the role or? You let go of what you love doing most. Huh. <laughs> what a question. Yeah. No, no. Worth billions. No, in fact, worth billions. Come on, I'm not going to quit school, actually. No, 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 no. Hey. For just six months of shoot, there, no, there are ways to this. So you can... I can probably be fair in the university and then come back the next year when I'm done filming. After collecting all my billions, yeah, I'll come back working, you know, majestically to come and finish my course and pass my somewhere. Charlie, you can defer school, but you can't defer billions. Thank you. Do you really want to use acting? Charlie, the girl make her drop my, make her drop my shit, self. <laughs> this question, yeah. All right then. Um, do you really want to use acting as your job, like a full-time job, or you got any other plans aside acting? And what could it be, if I may ask? Do you really want to take acting? Yeah, of course, I want to take acting, but 
for full time, unless maybe acting is paying madly, madly, madly sum of money, you know. But for now, of course, I have other plans, but I can't disclose them now. But I'm sure, I'm sure that even if acting was pay was to pay so much, I'm sure I'll be having side things to do. So as I'm schooling, I'm you know I'm getting a degree for something else. So I'm definitely going to venture into other places. So acting would be my full time. I think when I'm retired. Right. Do you have a best friend? Yes, I do. Who are you crushing on? Mm, my mother and Zinel Zhu. When did you realize you can act? And as you were informed to be part of YOLO series, how did you feel? So um, I realized I could act when I was in senior high school. Yeah. And then, you know, when I was told <laughs> that uh, I, I got a slot in YOLO series, I was like, Charlie, Charlie, you see, you know, be stressed, you know, stress your body, just relax. Don't be overexcited. What if they call you, they, they call you tomorrow and tell you that, hey, <laughs> it has been revoked. <laughs> So, I mean, I was just normal. And I wanted everything to, you know, come out before, I mean, the joy comes in. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? How has life been after YOLO? Oh, life, life has been really great and interesting. I mean, so right now, if you did take throttle self, you have for a big study small, you know what I'm saying? So, because somebody won't take, they won't take selfie for the throttle inside, you know what I'm saying? So it's not easy. At least when you see me in town, you'll be like, yo, Zam Zain. And I also respond, Zam Zain. <laughs> so life has been interesting. Who is your crush in YOLO? Everybody is my crush. What is your date of birth, year, month, day? Hey. <laughs> well, 26th August. Uh, were you hurt when Ampofua hashtag hell no said she will never love you? Oh, you mean? Senior Flex. Senior Flex was hurt. But with me, I was just laughing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? <laughs> Do you have one person you are training to become like you? Um, no, no. But I wouldn't even want someone to be like me. You should be yourself. You can be the best of yourself and then be the best in the world. That's what I'm saying. Ever been to Ninja? Not yet. Are you dating? No. I'm single. Like the K at the end of a constant equation. Zam <laughs> Zeng. I'm single. How do you see the movie industry? Oh, well, it's growing. It's revolutionizing, right? If you were to be the president of Ghana, how will you help the creative arts industry? Well, I think I'll put in structures I mean, proper structures for the creative industry because I feel um, there's much revenue to be derived from that sector. And creative arts, I mean, a lot of young people are really interested into it. So I think we need to pay much attention and it can also bring in much revenue. So invest more there. And then I think when we go global, we're all going to end. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm done with all my 50 questions and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so just subscribe, like, comment on the Pave Ghana Network on YouTube and follow Pave Ghana on all social media platforms. Zamzain, catch you later. Zamzain. Zamzain. <laughs>